It's been a stressful few weeks for Joel Williams and his family. In late September, they booked a trip to Paris, but on November 13th, terrorists struck the French capital, leading Williams to wonder if a European vacation was safe. I was a little hesitant, uh, but we did watch the news and we monitored the situation as best we could um, and then felt it was probably as safe now as ever to come. But now, with a massive police presence, Paris may be the safest place in the world. I think security has been increased all over the city. Uh, I think immediately the response was that there were about 1,500 um, military which were deployed and there was about 7,000 police agents on the street. And uh, since we've been here, we've noticed the police presence and the army presence everywhere, so it's um, reassured us that it is a safe place to be right now. In addition to police, there are also memorials everywhere. Flowers, candles, and signs were placed outside each of the bombing sites, including this restaurant. Blue, white, and red lights lit up the Eiffel Tower as well. Watching this as a tourist was incredible. Watching all the French people come together was very moving. Things like that can happen here, even here in Europe. So people here uh, just um, felt that they are very uh, um, unsafe, but life is stronger than death. Just two weeks after the attacks, the flowers at the memorials are still growing. In Paris, I'm Abby Williams, WBHS9 News.